G'day everyone. Um, I'm going to show you uh, how to do a very simple watercolour. I've just found a picture on Pinterest and I've got my palette ready to go. And as per usual, I have my names on my palette because I don't remember the colours, but I'm trying to learn them. I've got some watercolours, some, sorry, watercolour containers, one with clean water and one for dirty water, a tissue. My paper that I'm using today is a Canson watercolour, 100 and 85 a GSM and I've just got it on ever such a slant for that water to flow down so I think what I'm going to do is try and show you some very basic uh, shapes that I'm going to say anybody can do and all I'm doing is mixing up a little bit of color I have a test strip beside me pretty much all the time so that I can um, test my colors before I use them predominantly not all the time though and I'm just going to start with a badly drawn circle slash egg shape slash oval. And then I'm going to put a little bit of brightness in that as well with my phyllo green. What is that on my page? Something gross. Can I pick that up? Yep, that's going to go. Okay, take a little bit more color because I want that darker down the bottom. Add a little bit more weight. Ooh, that's dark, but that's okay. Work with that. And then just fade it up so it gets thinner as it goes down the bottom. Now that might bleed up. And take a little bit more of that and put a bit of a shape down here. Now I might just rinse that and then add a little bit of um, more of a brilliant yellow into that and see where that goes because then I can take the yellow and put it on the other side. And we're going to put five little dollops in there. Almost teardrops but not quite teardrop shapes. And a few little odd colors over there. Now my yellow has mixed in with my green a little bit more now, but that's okay because I don't mind that merging of um, color. And then I'm going to take a little bit more of the green and fan that out a little bit. I'm going to take a little bit of black. And very strategically, not very strategic, place a little bit more of that around the outside and take a little bit more water into my, what's that, my cadmium red. Make sort of a poppy shape on the side, but not neatly. And sometimes those little white Leaving the paper through that can look stunning. A little bit more. I'm going to press my brush down and lift it off. And same on the other side. I'll do a couple of those. Now I might just whack in a little bit more Alizarin and Crimson in that one just to change the tone in that a little bit. Now I'm going to take a little bit more of that Alizarin and just make it darker in the bottom of those shapes just because I like that sort of interest. Hmm, what's down the bottom? That looks like a little bit of, let's throw something in there, shall we? A little bit of something something in there you can see how neat that is so not neat and I think that could probably go with a few little speckles of the yellow as well Okay, I'll put that down to dry and then I'll draw over the top of that when I get back. Change. 
Thank you.